Many high profile cases will definitely come to you, and they may likely come in company of some juicy, irresistible temptations, especially when they involve mouthwatery financial and business transactions. I'm making it clear to you now that you must flee from such disguised danger. Good day, viewers. I'm Chris Secure Feature Village. Update my people. I just watched the video of CJN, Chief Justice of Nigeria, swearing in some new judges, advising them to stay away from the love of money. And we all know that the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, promised Nigeria free and fair and credible election. But along the line, we don't know what transpired. And the election was not free and credible. Now, the CJN is addressing and swearing in new judges that they should be free and fair in delivering justice across the nation, not just this election tribunal. He's saying other judges in different states should stay away from the love of money. We should not have any doubt in CJN. And let's pray that this speech or what he's saying is coming from his mind. Let's watch the CGN when he was swearing in some new judges, advising them to stay away from the love of money so that the, the temptation, they should be able to resist that temptation of bribery and corruption. Let's hear the CGN as he swear in new judges. Thank you, my people. I remain blessed. I'm Chris, Secure Future Village. Follow this page for more daily updates. Thank you. You have just taken the oath that is meant to pledge your allegiance to the dictates of the Almighty God, the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and of course, your conscience. It is a solemn pledge and commitment to good conduct in the course of your adjudication as judges of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. We are not here for long speeches, but simply to realign your minds with what is expected of you at this enviable level of adjudication on industrial and allied disputes. Many high profile cases will definitely come to you, and they may likely come in company of some juicy, irresistible temptations, especially when they involve mouthwatery financial and business transactions. I'm making it clear to you now that you must from such disguise danger. Your reputation and integrity matter much, and it counts enormously in your rise to honor and fame in life. Let me point out unambiguously that in life, gifts and wealth that are not worked for, which are by extension undeserving, are always wrapped in calamity and destruction. Flee from them and keep your heads high above the murky waters of corruption and favoritism. So that you can be conveniently counted among the very best in the Nigerian judiciary. You must, against all odds, conduct your affairs within the ambit of the law and the oath that you have just been administered on you. If you are eater to 50% under public scrutiny, I can then confidently tell you now that it has automatically risen to 100% by virtue of this appointment. This tempo of public assessment of your conduct and disposition will now assume astronomical proportion. You must equally redouble your efforts and dialogue properly with your conscience in order not to fall out of the grace of Almighty God and the Nigerian people. It absolutely takes nothing to join the crowd, but it takes quite a lot to stand alone with good conscience. Several novel business and industrial disputes Disputes are occurring in the country virtually on a daily basis that have now inevitably made litigations to go on a steady rise. No court in the land is spared of this. We are constantly on our toes and the dockers are ever rising in response to the challenges of the time. This underscores the fact that Nigerian ranks among the most litigious countries in the old world. The onus is on your lordships to fasten your belt and roll up your sleeves to face the challenges head on. You must redouble your pace to catch up with the expectations of the litigants. As judicial officers, you have a defined mandate on half that you must discharge with unfailed 
honesty, and sincerity, you must give good account of yourselves to justify your appointment. However, if you decide to do the contrary, of course, the sledgehammer will, without hesitation, descend heavily on you. No judicial officer at any level of our courts will be allowed to drag the reputation of the Nigerian judiciary into the mud. We can't come this far to fail. Take heed of this admonition by working rightly towards occupying an, an enviable space in the annals of the Nigerian judiciary. My lords, I congratulate you on your well-deserved appointment and sincerely wish you the very best that you can achieve in this strategic position you now occupy. Thank you and God bless you all. Lord. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Chris Secure Future Vlog. Also follow my Facebook page so that I'll be updating you for more trendy videos and more news. Thank you and remain blessed. I'm Chris Secure Future Vlog.